to share my lesson. In this video, I will be discussing the solutions to the Middle Primary Division 2024 Australian Mathematics Competition. Make sure to check the description below for previous AMC videos. Don't forget to subscribe for more math solutions and tips. Let's get started with the solutions. If we count the number of dots for each pattern, we find that option A has 8 dots. Marley was born in 2016, so 14 years later, she will be 14 on the year 2030. So the answer is C. The digit 7 is in a thousands place. So it has a value of 7000, which means the answer is D. If you look at each answer, we find that option D is closest to 365, only being three places away. This means the answer is D. The cardboard net has three rectangles and two triangles. The only answer option that matches this description is option D. So the answer is D. If you look at each answer option, we notice that option E correctly shows the time 10 minutes past 5 or 5.10, which means the answer is E. Looking at the diagram, we can see that there are 5 increments of 10 between 150 and 200. The temperature is set on the third increment, which is 180 degrees. This means the answer is C. The box has dimensions of a length of seven cupcakes and a width of four cupcakes. Seven times four is 28 cupcakes. This means the answer is B. If you look at each letter, letter A only has one line of symmetry, letter H has two, letter M has one, letter S has none, and letter T also has one. Letter with the most lines of symmetry is letter H, which is answer option B. There are 12 cards all together. So we can write the ratio out of 12 for each option. We need to find which option is the least likely. This is option B, the 7, which has a ratio of 2 on 12. So the answer is B. Based on the information that Gabe knows, summer has to have at least nine people, as winter has eight and summer has the most. So if we add all this up, we get 29. So 29 is the smallest possible number of people in this class. So the answer is E. We can draw each path as shown. As you can see, there are only four different ways for Nala to pass exactly two fountains in the park, so the answer is C. We can complete the puzzle as shown. The blue square on the left is filled with the number one, and the blue square on the right is also filled with the number one. If we multiply one by one, 
We still get one, so the auntie's A. If you use visualization, we see that the options B, C, D and E are all possible. The only not possible option is A, so the answer is A. If you look at the first scale measuring, two rods and one brick give 10 balls, and in the second, four rods and one brick give 14 balls. These extra two bricks creates an extra weight of four balls. These extra two rods add the weight of four balls. So one rod is two balls. If we sub this back into equation B, we find that one brick is equal to 14 minus eight or six balls. So the answer is D. Let's write each option with a cheaper item is bought at half price. The only option that gives a total of $16 is option D, a gift card and a roll of wrapping paper. So the answer is D. We can complete the jigsaw puzzle as shown. The two sets of pieces which are not next to each other are W and X and Z and Y. Out of the answer options, only Y and Z exist. This means the answer is E. As you can see, we can complete another layer of this co-hanger pattern. We notice a pattern where layer one has one or two to the power zero coats, co-hangers, the next layer that's two to the power one co-hangers, and so on and so on. You find that layer six has 32 or two to the power five co-hangers. We can now add all these up to find a total of 64 co-hangers in this pattern. This means the answer is E, which is between 60 and 70. To make the largest number, you want the tens digits to be as large as possible. So we can add 41 and 32, where 4 and 3 are the largest numbers, to get the sum of 73. In a similar way, to get the smallest possible sum, we want the tens digit to be as small as possible. So we add 13 and 24, where 1 and 2 are the smallest numbers out of these cards, to get a sum of 37. The difference between these sums is 36, so the answer is D. Lubna cannot have zero or one pieces of oranges. Otherwise, Preeti would have to have more than four pieces of fruit. So let's try option C. If Lubna has two oranges, this means she has to have two apples. This means that Preeti has to have the other four oranges as their six oranges. Also, Bhavna would have to have two apples and two bananas. As you can see, we have completed the chart. Then Preeti doesn't have to have any bananas, as the question says each girl has to have four pieces of fruit that they like. So the smallest number of oranges that he can give to Lubna is option C, which is two. As you can see, we can expand the line as shown. We need to find the shape that's painted X. Out of the answers, the only shape that matches this painting is C. A box plus 13 chocolates is equal to 416 grams. And a box plus 9 chocolates is equal to 332 grams. The four chocolate difference between these two equations 
is equal to 84 grams, which means one chocolate must weigh 21 grams. We can sub this value in to our second equation to find that the box is equal to 332 minus 189, which is 143 grams. So the answer is B. Using the information from the question, we can write an equation where A is a starting number. As you can see, we can solve this equation to find that A is less than or equal to 14. Next, we know that if we increase each number by 1, the new total is greater than 100. This basically means that if you get 6A plus 15 and add 6 to it, it will be greater than 100. This means A has to be greater than or equal to 14. If you look at equations 1 and 2, A has to fulfill the condition that A is less than or equal to 14 and A is greater than or equal to 14. The only whole number that satisfies both of these conditions is 14. So A has to be 14. To find the new total, we sub it in to the equation 6a plus 15 plus 6 to find that the new total is 105. This means the answer is E. The first 10 steps that Bernard will take will be 2 to 2 steps. These steps will be from 2 to 20. Then he will take one, ten, one steps, which are from 21 to 30. This means he steps on step number 27. This means that A cannot be an answer. And then he takes 10 two steps from 32 to 50. And then another 10 one steps from 51 to 60. This means Bernard also steps on step number 51, so B is not an answer and then 10 two steps from 62 to 80. So Bernard steps on step number 66. However, he does not step on step number 79, which means the answer is D. As you can see, first we have to label the following diagram as seen. Since we know that each square adds up to 20, we know that E plus F is 8, C plus D plus F is 15, and A plus B plus F is 13. Let's get the equation F plus E is equal to 8 to try and solve this question. If F is 1, E would be 7. This wouldn't work because of a repeated digit. If F is 2, then E would be 6. This could be a possible scenario. If f is 3 and e is 5, there's a repeated digit of 5. If f is 4, then e must be 4 as well. So there's another repeated digit. f can't be 5 because there's already 5 in the diagram. f could be 6. f can't be 7 since there's already a 7 in the diagram. And if f is 8, then e would be 0. But we can't get any 0 digits. This means a, b, C and D can be selected from the numbers 1, 3, 4 and 8. If F is equal to 2, we can use the equation C plus D plus F is 15. Then C plus D is equal to 13. However, we can't make 13 from the values of 1, 3, 4 and 8. If F is 6, then C plus D is equal to 9. We can make 9 with the numbers 1 and 8. This means case 2, which is f is equal to 6, has to be the solution. To get the smallest number of total candles, we have to find the lowest common multiple of Alex. This means the number of cand candles in Alex's cake is divisible by 2, 3 and 4, but it's as small as possible. This number is 12 candles. So Alex has 12 candles, Brady 
has six, Casey has four, and Drew has three. If you add all of them up, we get 25. So 25 is the smallest number of total candles. The top half of the ruler, I'm missing the numbers from 6 to 22. And the bottom half of the ruler, I'm missing the numbers from 24 to 7. We can write two sum equations as shown. If you add them up, we get a series of 24 plus a series of 29s. In this series, there's 124 and 17 29s. So the total sum is 24 plus 29 times 17, which gives you 517. So 517 is the sum of all the numbers on the middle piece. As per the diagram, we can draw a red line, which gives us two possible ways to get to the treasure. Then we can draw a blue line, which connects to the red line, which gives us four possible ways to get to the treasure. Next, we can draw another red line, which gives us another four ways to get to the treasure. Finally, we can draw two black lines, which gives two ways of four to get to the treasure. Altogether, there are 18 different ways that a last star can find the treasure. The largest numbers are 1, 2, 8, are 8, 6, and 7. So we can place them as shown. The smallest one is number 1. So we want to put it in one of the white circles. The next smallest is number 2. So we also want that in a white circle. Next, we can put the number 3 in the shaded circles and the number 5 and 4 are shown. So the largest possible total of these four numbers is 8 plus 6 plus 7 plus 3, which gives you a total of 24. From the numbers 5 to 100, you write the digit 0 11 times. And from the numbers 105 to 200, you write it 12 times. From 205 to 900, you basically write the same thing for 105 to 200, but instead you do this seven times, which gives a total of 84. Between 905 to 1000, you write the digit zero 13 times. And between 1005 to 1100, you write it 31 times. You write the digit zero from 1105 to 1200 12 times. In between 1205 to 1500, you basically do the same thing for 1105 to 1200, but instead you do this three times. So you write the digits here 36 times. So altogether, you write the digits zero a total of 199 times. That wraps up the solutions to the 2024 AMC Middle Primary Exam. Check the description below for more information and AMC solution videos. Don't forget to subscribe for more math solutions and tips. See you in the next video.